Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So this week, we got a core data update. We got a lot of updates this week, so it's going to be a fun week for video making. Uh, core data. Hey, I haven't updated any of the recent stuff yet because I don't think the other ones are like kind of whatever. Um, I know we got some couple things like the Chinese missiles. I think we also got some purple gear as well too in here that I should talk about, but... Maybe I'll get around to it, but don't count on it. But today's video, I want to talk about the gold pencils that came out. So these things right here, let's go ahead and buy them. They are 800 core data. So let's go ahead and grab these real quick. Upgrade them to uh, plus 10. Well, I have plus fi uh, 13 stats pulled up on the uh, wiki, but I'm going to go ahead and craft these to plus 10. I don't want to spend it. Uh, purple, I mean, not purple. Gold place to get to plus 13. Not to mention, I don't think I have enough gold place to get to plus 13 anyway, so we gotta keep it at 10. Right, um, yeah, I can get it like 12, but I'm not gonna do it. Right, let's go ahead and talk about these pencils. So these things right here obviously go for battleships. They're really good on battleships because they are just like the other pencils and they grant some pretty crazy um, stats. So these things right here, at plus 10, you get 45 firepower, you get 20 hit, and a special skill which makes this so if you equip it by a royal navy battleship or battle cruiser increase her main gun crit damage by 30 percent effect does not stack only the highest buff from an ap shell takes effect so you can't stack these with the white pencils uh i'm pretty sure i can go ahead and oh, actually you know you can use both of them but it just doesn't stack so these things right here is pretty much only meant for royal navy ships so you would only use it there because of the buff. Now, the thing is, how good are these pencils and are they worth getting? So, if we were to compare these to a plus 10 shell, I hope I have some lying around right here. Uh, go ahead and change gear. We go all the way to the gold pencil. So here's the plus 10 difference. 10 less firepower, but you get 5 more hit, and then you get the 30% crit rate. So at plus 13, uh, these things right here, uh, the white pencils, they give 12 more firepower, eight, uh, 3 more hits, and you get 3% more damage, right? And for the gold shells, I have the wiki pulled up, you get 57 firepower, 23 hit, and 3% damage. So it's still the same 10 more firepower and 5 more hit. But you get 5% more crit damage. So. Are these shells pretty good? Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a mathematician out there. They could probably figure it out for me. Or figure it out in the comments below. But it is very very marginal. Very very marginal. On the damage, damage difference between a white shell. And a gold shell I think. Because you get 10% more crit damage, which is nice, and that's really, uh, really good. Or 5%, my bad, which is really good. The issue is, I don't know why, but these developers think, hey, let's add more crit damage when we barely have crit rate to begin with. Especially for battleships. The only ship that has like a very consistent crit rate in this game is New Jersey. And you guys already see how powerful she is as a battleship. So these shells will probably be pretty decent on her. Otherwise, it's very marginal, and I think white shells here are definitely gonna be the better, um, definitely gonna be the better uh, auxiliaries to use because you get ten more firepower, which is a lot more consistent because it doesn't depend on RNG. You lose five hit, which is pretty negligible, I'd say, but some people really value hit, and you get. 5% less crit rate or crit damage. It's very marginal, I'd say. Like, if I were to use Vanguard, I'd probably stick to the simple black and white shells. I wouldn't change this at all. Um, if, they, if she had more crit rate, then maybe. Otherwise, I'd say the only ship out of the batch for Royal Navy Battleships that gets some use out of the gold shells is probably going to be KGV because of her, uh, I believe hers her red skill. It gives her 20% more crit rate. But then again, you gotta use this really bad HE gun, which I don't like at all because it has a terrible spread. 
even combined with all the factors of tight spread buffs like Kronstadt, I think from the other fleet, um, Vanguard being from the Vanguard buff, you can even reduce the spread from like 22 to like probably 18 or something like that. But again, I I would rather if I were to use an HE gun, I would rather use like this gun. But I I know some people are gonna say like, wow, um, chemo, this gun is really good on KGV. Yeah. I still don't like this gun though, but if I were to see one ship to get used out of the gold pencil, it'd probably be KGV. Now, some people still use KGV, and that's perfectly fine. Me, my days with her are pretty much over with. I never used her to begin with, but she would probably be the only ship as of right now. I'd say that I can get some decent use out of the gold pencil. Otherwise, I say for most of us, just stick with the typical. If you have a lot of black and white shell invested already right at plus 13, go ahead and stick with those. The gold pencil as of right now, it's like, meh. If it was like 35 or even 40% crit damage, okay, then that'd be pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That would be pretty good. But as of right now, it's like barely any difference. I don't think it's like that huge. You trade uh, 10 firepower for 5 more hit and 5% more crit damage. The issue here is that crit isn't very consistent, especially because there isn't a lot of crit rate in this game that isn't like a self buff especially from new jersey so i can't see this gold pencil being like super amazing um you would want to grab like one or two for kgv and like one other royal navy ship if you guys really need them otherwise because it shares the same sh um the same shop as core data's because of how universal white shells are and black shells are you would want to grab these every single time Black shells are only used, or uh, the gold shells are only useful for Royal Navy ships, so it restricts them on who can get the most benefit or uh, most benefit from those items or auxiliaries. So it's not universal. Black and whites are still better by far. Um, you will probably want to grab one or two for KGV and some other ship if you want to use them, but I don't think the da the damage difference or the stat difference from the gold shells are that much worth it. If it was like 35 and 45 or 40 percent, then maybe you could argue it'd be pretty good. But as of right now, if I were to use a uh, regular Royal Navy battleship, I'll probably just stick to the black and white shells. So that is it for this video. If you guys have questions, feel free to let me know. I'll try to respond to them or I'll just look at them and, <laughs> and read them. But I'll do my best to respond to you guys if I see a question that's worth uh, that's worth me replying to. Otherwise, though, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, guys, I will see y'all in the next video.